Now, uh, I just need to ask you, go ahead, Bobby. Like yesterday, obviously, first place, awesome fish, you know, like, what was the difference between the weather from yesterday to today? Was there much difference in the style of fishing you did, or? Uh, well, we started off, like, yesterday we caught smallies all, uh, all day, and they're biting pretty good. We were done by about uh, 8.30. Uh, so we went back to our spots and we did what we did, but it got cold last night. Everything shut down for us. So uh, today we had got one right in the morning, and then uh, we stayed on it for about uh, till 11 o'clock, and then we just went for some largies. But the wheels kind of fell off there. Okay. You gave it away, that's for sure. All right, thank you. So I'm here with Steve. Steve, you know, we uh, this is a couple days after you had a great uh, performance at the Classic. Uh, the Top Bass Classic on the Tri Lakes. First day, 21.45 pounds. Yeah, that was a good day out there. So we're just we're just uh, meeting up. We we were gonna head out. Um, I'm heading up to uh, towards Montreal. You're heading down to uh, Florida for an Okeechobee event. We gave it a shot out here, and we know that this is like a you know Kingston area, really good smallmouth. Uh, Kingston Open was here. You were here for that, and uh, you know so. This is weather it didn't cooperate for us. I mean, it was windy and, and crazy out there, but we, we were, you know. You know, you take your time, you can get around safely, yeah. but uh, it just it limits the distance you can travel on the water and yeah. the number of spots you can hit. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, but the main goal out here, especially out in Kingston area, is being safe on the water. Yeah. Up here, I noticed, you know, you're not just a, a largemouth fisherman, but you're, you're also <laughs> definitely a, a smallmouth fisherman. And, and a lot of your big bags have, have come on smallmouth up here. Yeah, to be competitive up here in Canada, you have to know how to do both. And in the States, they don't even play a, a role? Ah, uh, not really. Yeah. No, it's obviously, once you get, I guess, past Kentucky. You're gaining a lot of experience, eh? I mean, you've, all this summer, you, you, you've fished, you know, you're dedicating all your time to fishing. Yeah. Uh, throughout the summer, and then you're going to finish off, you know, this year you're finished in Canada, but now you're heading to do a few events down there. Uh, in the state site again. Yeah, it, it, the, the experience that you gain from fishing uh, right from Florida all the way up here in Canada yeah. is you, you see all the different types of conditions that that uh, occur mm -hmm. through fishing, different types of year, uh, different times during the year and all that kind of stuff. So um, it's just like they say, time on the water and you can start putting things together and uh, it just helps you grow as an angler. So you're looking forward to getting into some big largemouth, doing some punching again. You, you kind of had to have that, didn't have that opportunity <laughs> up here this year that it was so mild and so cool, you didn't get those mats. No, the mats, they weren't going up here in Canada this year, so I, caused, I had to adjust this year. Yeah. So I, I spent a little more time on the smallmouth. Yeah. But uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get that two ounce of weight in my hand, and I'm going to be punching mats yeah, yeah. during the pre-fish, and uh, hopefully it goes well. Yeah, well, good luck, Steve. All right, thanks, Gary. Good job. Yeah. And, uh, Admire your, your dedication and, and uh, you know, hope you do well. I know you will. I mean, you've had a lot of success up here. I mean, you're consistently a, a up there in the classics, mm -hmm. you know. I mm -hmm. mean, what was it you had a, on, on your second place on Top Bass. Top Bass, yeah. You know, a few years back, and then you had a sixth. A sixth place in, in the, the classic. classic on, and the CSFL out of Rice yeah. as well. And you won the first day with 21.45 pounds just a few days ago. Yeah. Ended up uh, six overall. Yeah. Yeah. Six is that number. I got to get rid of that six. Yeah, so right, eh? it's, I think it's the the curse of the six yeah. for me. So it'll uh, happen. Yeah. It'll get it. Yeah. All right. All right. All the best, man. All right. Take care. Care.